I want to greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We are talking about the blessing of brokenness and we discovered that Jacob in the book of Genesis chapter 32 right there in Peniel that God gives Jacob a new name and he gives him a new identity. He is no longer the same liar, the same deceiver that he used to be, but he's now called Israel. Now he has become one that struggles with God, one that struggles with men, and one that overcomes. And this is one thing that God wants to do in your life. He wants you to overcome as you struggle with him, in prayer, as you struggle with him, in whatever circumstance and situation that he allows you to go through. And Jacob fought with God, and now God fights with Israel. God gave Jacob a new name and God wants to give you a new name. God wants Jacob and wanted Jacob to experience a new relationship with him. And the Bible says, and Jacob said, please tell me your name. But he replied, why are you asking my name? This was the second time that the angel was asking Jacob because you see God, when he comes in your space and he wants to bless you, what God wants to do wants to do is that he wants you to confess. He wants you to confirm and he wants you to concur with the fact that this is what you used to be, but this is not what I want you to be. And so right there, Jacob comes again and he says, but why are you asking me my name? Then the Bible says, and right there, the angel of the Lord blessed him. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying it is because I saw God's face face to face, and yet my life was preserved. You see, when God comes in our brokenness in order to break us, when God comes in our space, it could be in your marriage, it could be in your relationship, it could be in your workplace where God makes you to make sure that you get fired. It is in that space that God wants you to see him face to face, wants you to learn what it means to depend on him. And even until today, the name of that place is called Peniel. God allowed Jacob to wrestle with him, to come face to face with him, and to be real with him, to struggle honestly with him. He did not die because he was struggling with God. Instead, Jacob experienced new grace. Jacob was blessed instead of being cursed. Jacob was blessed instead of, 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 of being destroyed. He was preserved instead of being abandoned. He was protected instead of being destroyed. God gave him a new name and God gave him a new identity. God wants to give you and me a new relationship. In our brokenness, it's possible for us to begin again. It's possible for us to start again. You can start again in your life, in your brokenness. It does not matter how much broken your marriage is, how much broken your life is, how much broken your relationships are. God is able to start your life again, to change your name, to change your relationship and give you a better relationship with him. May you be blessed as you think about what God has done in your life and what God is about and on doing in your life. Be blessed. Amen. Amen.